What is up everybody, it is Master Of here, welcome to a brand new game, this is Plunder Pirates by Rovio Stars, that's my pirate accent, yes it is. Uh, this is actually a really beautiful game, I've been playing it for a day now, just to see uh, what it's about, if it's worth covering, and I thought I'd do an episode on it, show you what it's all about, I don't believe it's released yet, if it's anywhere, it's in Canada, eh? But I'm not 100% sure, you're gonna have to double check that yourself. Uh, but yeah, as I said, made by Rovio Stars, and it is a plundering game where you are a pirate, and you basically got to go take loot from other bases. Uh, you got to like explore a map, and there's things to uncover. There's new things to unlock. You have cannons to defend your bases. You have uh, gun towers. You have gold mines. You have uh, grog distilleries to fi fill up your troops with food. You've got the tavern, which is where you build troops, and of course, you have got your big old ship. Which will not only defend your base, which I think is quite cool, it will also go out and uh, attack other people. But I'm going to run you through what is so good about this game. So, so far, I mean, you can just see from this, the art style, the visuals are just magnificent. I think the animations are great, uh, and it just looks really pretty. It looks a little bit different. Now, I know this is very much like Clash of Clans, uh, Star Wars, the new Star Wars game, the Call of Duty Heroes. But this is the first one I've looked at and gone, yeah, this actually could be something completely different. So what you've got is you've got two different types of loot. You've got gold and gorg. Gorg? Grog. Uh, grog is mainly for, like, the pirates and upgrading that kind of stuff and upgrading your gold mines. Uh, where the gold mines is for upgrading pretty much everything else, uh, including defenses and the gorg distilleries. Then you have got your recruits, or you've got your tavern, which holds the pirates, and as you can see, it's bustling with life. And at the moment, we can only have two different types of troops. We can have the buccaneer, which is a melee character, uh, but he has a little bit more health than the gunner, which is a little bit less health, but he shoots from a distance and does more damage. And then soon to unlock, as you can see at the bottom here, we've got a load more things to unlock, uh, which is pretty exciting, especially to see what that big one is at the end. I have no idea what that guy is, but it looks pretty interesting. And yeah, so this is my base, and it, I've kind of designed it nicely, I think. I've situated everything together at the moment, so all my gold mines are together, uh, all my grog stuff are together, and I've got the gun towers and the cannons pretty much protecting everything, along with the ship, which is covering the most vital bit, the pirate hall, which is your epicenter, the center of everything, and uh, you need to upgrade that to unlock new stuff. So, shall we go on a pirate adventure and see what we can find? So from here, you can either fight a rival captain, which is obviously on the left, which is fighting uh, other players, or you can explore the seas, which is what we're going to do at the moment. And this is where we get to ch take the lovely big ship out and explore the seas. So as you can see, uh, I've explored a little bit in the map, but this map is pretty damn big. Look at that. It's a pretty big map. I really like it. You have to uncover the map. Uh, sometimes it'll uncover just normal waters. Sometimes it'll uncover stuff like this. A giant enemy crab, uh, which you can go and tackle. And then it'll also unlock things like the pirate galleon enemy ship, which you can go and battle. Uh, but it also unlock things round island, which gives me loot. Uh, and you've also got another area here, which you can go and fight. But I've taken most of his plunder, so there's no point in us fighting that. So, shall we go explore? We've got a range of 120. Each block equals 20, uh, and there we go. We can do it like that, and we basically set sail. That will take 2 minutes or 12 seconds, but obviously I'll complete it quickly for the purpose of the video. And journey complete, we unlock some exploration points, and we have found some new stuff. So, we have found not only a little bit of extra grog there, we have found some open waters, and oh, we have found a lighthouse or something by the looks of it. Let's have a look at this. So this, oh no, this is a pirate stronghold. Uh, abandon all hope, ye who enter here. A forbid. Uh, this is so hard to read because it's all in pirate speak. A foreboding fortress. Only the bravest pirate captain should set foot here. Well, do you know what? That is us. We have got our. You cannot fight. You have no pirate. Oh god. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's probably lucky he said that. I need to go make some pirates available. Uh, let's go to the tavern and build up some pirates. So we're gonna recruit. Uh, we can recruit 15 people at the moment. Oh, the tavern is full. I don't get it. Wait, what? My tavern is full. What are you talking about? Let's go explore the seas again. Because I have got a full tavern, so... Shouldn't we be able to fight this? Yeah, we could. Okay, maybe it was just a little bug. Thinking I didn't have anything. Wow, okay. So this has uh, an alright bit of loot. You get 21 points uh, for destroying it. And let's see his defenses. So he's got a mortar in the center here. Uh, we're just gonna have to go for it. Oh my god. They really gave us no time Plunder, okay, let's go and plunder. I'm gonna attack from 
Oh, man. I want to attack from this side because I want to get to that first. We're not... There's no way we're going to win this. This has way too many defenses. I'm way too low a level. Um, so I'm, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to surrender because I, I just would not be able to defeat it. Uh, and it gave me no time to look at the actual base. So let's go find something else uh, that hopefully we will be able to destroy. How about this one here? So this is Port Duno. Now, I've done one fight. I think you get four fights in this one. So let's have a look and see what is going on down here. All right, this looks a little bit better. This is Captain Tinto. Let's fight Captain Tinto. So he's got a couple of cannons, which is pretty cool. Now we spawn our troops out here, and you can see they do uh, uh, they drop in these little boats, and then they kind of do this funny paddle uh, up to the, up to the shore, which is pretty cool. So let's spawn the rest in, and we can spawn four behind. So I'm thinking of this. If we're thinking Clash of Clans speak, this is a barge strategy. Uh, the reason for that being is that the um, the buccaneers actually have a lot of health compared to the other person, well, the other person called Gunslingers or Gunners. So I put them first, hoping that they'll go and attack and take a, a load of the hits. And then the Gunners will come in from behind, no homo, and destroy everything up. Which is pretty much what's happened. Uh, and it's actually worked pretty damn well. And there we go. We've taken all this loot. We've got two stars. We've taken out the Pirate Horn. And we've got 80% destroyed. Where are they going? Look at them swim. Look at them. You see what I mean? This is what I mean about the animation. Also, this game is unbelievably fluid. Uh, turning the camera around like that to get a different view is just an absolute dream. Now, personally, on the Call of Duty game, I found... Oh, look at that. That was a good animation. Perfectly, I found it kind of a nightmare on the on the uh, Call of Duty one to almost zoom in and turn where I wanted. But this, as you can see, it is just so fluid. You can do everything you want uh, without a problem. So there we go. We've defeated him uh, twice. We can go defeat him again. So let's go home and get our tavern full of troops. We've also got three builders free at the moment, so we need to uh, we need to start building. So I'm going to use seven of these, and then I'm going to use eight of the gunners. That is my tactic at the moment. Let's have a look at what we can upgrade. So we've got about 8,000 of both to play with. Uh, we can upgrade our defenses are looking pretty strong. They're both uh, level three, which is nice. I've also got a gun tower here, level one, which is pretty boss, to be fair. Uh, this gold mine needs a little bit of love, so let's upgrade that. These are all then will be the same. Uh, the Grog Distillery is only level 1. Okay, let's upgrade that. This Grog Distillery is only level 1 as well, so we'll upgrade that as well. So, what can you build in this game? What is there for you to go and explore? Because in this episode, I'm basically going to run over everything and show you what there is for you to explore. So, as you can see, you've got your treasure, your resources, buildings, defensive, decorations, and shield. Uh, shield is, you know, pretty much pointless, and so is treasure, unless you're willing to spend money. Uh, decorations is just, obviously, for it to look good. So let's have a look at resources. So, we've got Builder's Huts. We've got two out of the four possible Builder's Huts. Uh, we've got two out of three uh, Grog Distilleries, which basically make the Grog. And then you've got the Grog Storage, which obviously holds the Grog. And then you've got the Gold Mine and the Gold Storage, like you do in every other base building game. So, well, that's that. What else have we got in our market? We have got um, buildings. Buildings is actually quite an interesting one. Uh, this is where the academy is that we need to build. Uh, we also need to build a guild hall. But then there comes stuff a little bit later on, like the stonemason, the observatory, um, observatory, which I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm really intrigued to find out. Especially things like uh, this one here. So let's have a look at the academy. So, increase your pirate skill here and unlock new pirates and abilities. So, this is uh, the upgrade center, I guess, of your base. And the guild hall is <coughs> hub for your guild community. Upgrade to unlock perk buildings. So, this is where you build your guild. Now, I know a lot of people will be asking, are there going to be clans? Are there going to be alliances? Yes, there are guild. And this is what the guild hall is all about. You need 20,000 gold to unlock it. So, it's not an absurd amount. Uh, and I will unlock the guild hall as soon as I possibly can. And then hopefully you guys can come and join me in my guild, which will be pretty cool. Uh, and then the final thing really that we have here is the defenses, which is at the moment we've got cannons and a gun tower. But you can see we've got stuff like walls, which we can get soon. Mortars, bunkers, bombs, stun bombs and stun mortar so quite a few different things to unlock and then we've got decorations which are just kind of funny uh including stuff like a prisoner cage flag poles let's go to the most expensive thing which is a pirate statue nonetheless uh and it's actually free uh this building is locked it can be unlocked by a quest okay so you actually get these ones uh for doing quests which is pretty cool so let us ready up our troops one more time <coughs> and go and battle <coughs> 
Ah, oh, sorry, I got a little bit of a weird cold kind of thing. All right, let's go plunder. What are we going to do? Let's go explore the seas and let's go take on Tinto's base one more time. And then we'll finish off with an attack on a real player base to see what they have to offer. So Tinto, he's upgraded his defense as you can see here. He's got a gun tower in the center. He's got his cannon and another cannon. So I'm going to attack from... Oh, he's also got this. Uh, the gunship does do damage. So I'm going to attack straight kind of in the middle. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to attack from over here. <coughs> Alright, let's spawn them out. I love it. They jump in the boat, and then they jump out the boat. It's brilliant. So, luckily, no one can hit us from here. The buccaneers are up front. Oh, okay. Speak of the devil. That uh, cannon's just gone for us. There we go. First building destroyed. And now they're going... All of them are going for that uh, gun tower, which is really good. Look at them all. Absolutely destroying it. That has gone down. And now a few of them have gone for that cannon. The rest have gone for the pirate hall, which is... Quite a brave move when there's a cannon shooting at you, but hey-ho. Alright, so they're going for that. The Pirate Hall does take a lot of time to destroy. It's actually got quite a lot of health. As you can probably tell, it has got quite a lot of health. So, Hopefully, we'll be able to take it down sooner rather than later because that cannon is going ham. But as I said, just look at the animations. Like, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. Whenever I think of a Rovio game, it's always Angry Birds. Uh, and the quality in Angry Birds is just second to none. It's such a great game, and it's, you know, beautiful looking. And I think they've really done the same here. They've gone for a really char uh, cartoon, characterized thing, and it, it just works. Like, you know, this smoke, it's not a high-quality smoke that, you know, in Boom Beach, for example, the smoke looks, like, high-quality and realistic. But in here, it's very jokey. Uh, it's like big puffs of smoke. But then, considering that, the water looks brilliant. I don't know why, but I love the look of the water. And when the ship goes down, it's just those kind of stuff make a difference to me. But there we go. Victory. Pirate rank has gone up to 15. Boss. That is what we are. <coughs> Alright, let's go home. Let's ready up our troops and let's go take out a multiplayer base. I think I'm going to use the same tactic. Uh, so, we technically... This is going to be called a, B, a bug tra tactic. A B, uh, or a bug. Yeah, let's call it a bug, because BU and then the G from the, the gunner. So this is the bug strategy. Uh, it is seven of those and those. So it's just a few more gunners uh, compared to the buccaneers. So let's go out and plunder a rival cannon and take his grog and his loot. And that's not enough loot for us. We want to find a little bit more than that. All right, there we go. This is good. Uh, so he has got one cannon there just there like a really small one though a uh, gun pa gun tower and that one there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spawn them up straight away at the gun tower um so let's spawn them up so can we we can actually spawn them on the beach if there's enough space uh or, or you can spawn them in the water i'm gonna spawn this guy in the water because i like watching him paddle <laughs> paddle gunner you can do it go 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 so the Buccaneers are doing some serious jobs, taking everything down as fast as possible, spreading out. The gun tower has obviously gone down, and uh, they've missed this cannon, but somebody's going for it. There's another cannon at the top, so we've got to be a little bit careful. But if we want a different view on this, we can swing this around and view it from this side. It looks really weird sometimes when you turn it around, but I personally like it back like that. There we go. So that's been taken down. That cannon is going down in three, two, one. Boom, there we go. We got one more cannon left, which is shooting so drastically at my gunners. Uh, but he's not taking them down very quickly. He is taking them down, though. But we've taken most of his loot, which is very important. Uh, most of his gold's gone. A little bit of his grog is left. And we've got 47%. So once one more building falls down, we're going to have that 50%. We're going to have that one star, I guess. We're going to take it down. There we go. We got the 50%. We got the one star. We've got a few buccaneers left and one gunslinger. That um, cannon there actually has done a lot of damage to my troops. We're trying to take out the pirate hall, but as you can see, the b the boat over here is the ship is actually taking out my troops. Um, all right, stop now. But the, sh the ship can take out your troops, which is pretty interesting. And obviously, the cannon is shooting through the pirate hall. I do wish that was a, a mechanic where you have to have line of sight if you're if you're on the ground, but obviously not. It's fine. It's fine. And down goes our final gunslinger. Half health. And he's going to finish off. Let's zoom out and show the base. So you can see around the base there's... Um, okay, I'll show you my base. But victory. There we go. Pirate rank 29. Uh, gold plundered 2,300 and 1,900. Gorog. Gorog. So yes, you've got these things around the side which are outcrops. 
Uh, and you can actually destroy them. They cost a little bit to destroy, so that costs uh, a thousand grog. But then you can actually build in that space, and you can't build in spaces that have them. So I can't build here or here, as you can see. So there we go, guys. There is a little bit of Plunder Pirates. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let's smash the like button. Let's see if we can get this up to 500 likes for a brand new thing. And if you want me to do more, make sure you comment down below in the most piratey way possible more. But I don't know how you're going to comment it piratey, but give it a go. And uh, I'm definitely going to play it. Whether I do videos or not, I'm not sure. But tell me down below what you think. But until the next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.